Hello, thank you for being here. Can you explain a little bit how it was your contact with VCW and uh, your background? Um, hello, my name is Sarah Janmir. I am an assistant professor at Neoma Business School in Paris. Um, I first met Professor Lajic during my MBA back in Germany about six years ago. And uh, I found her his work um, in innovation quite interesting, so I asked uh, if I could uh, conduct my master thesis project under his supervision. Uh, and he agreed, and so that was the beginning of our joint project. We started looking at uh, laggards of technologies and their input uh, for companies. After I concluded my MBA, I um, decided to do a PhD. And uh, this project continued uh, throughout my PhD, so uh, our work is focused on the impact of late adopters and laggards of technologies on innovation and new product development. Um, what is the connection of this with the VCW? Uh, in VCW, you also, this is, VCW is a meta framework, so it includes a lot of different um, methodologies and frameworks. On the other hand, you also need um, skepticals and people who are resistant to innovation in order to come up with new and breakthrough ideas. So, uh, based on this research, uh, we developed the lag user method, which is a new product development that is um, customized to involve late adopters and laggards of technologies into new product development and innovation. And um, as we discussed, this work had a lot of international um, um, yeah, or a lot of international, let's say, buzz, uh, because this was published in the Wall Street Journal. And after that, of course, a lot of uh, you know media attention, uh, a lot of talks, a lot of seminars, and, and uh, so on. So the history of uh, me and the VCW goes back like three to six years ago, and I'm very happy to be uh, a part of this project. Currently, um, we are working on uh, creating a VCW lag user uh, project, and also, since I'm based in France, we're working on uh, VCW France, starting with uh, the school that I'm working with and then expanding from there. Yes, because it's a subject that's it's, it's very important because there's a lot of people that are not uh, as complying to no, no new technology like the new generation, for example. That's true. And indeed, uh, we normally underestimate the importance and the number of these people. Because first of all, even scientifically, these are almost half of all users. This is one fact that many companies ignore because we are speaking about a large number of consumers. And another is... Um, they're gaining importance. The way, the way they are changing our societies and the way the society is looking at them, you can see that from the articles that the Wall Street Journal published in the three editions that we mentioned, US, Europe, and Asia. And the titles of the, those articles are quite kind of positive, like late adopters, proud to be dinosaurs, or the rise of uh, fashionable late adopters. These are not the words that you usually uh, associate with someone who's a late adopter. Even, for example, when we were doing some workshops, with the with, uh, with, uh, different type of users. If they had a choice, people said, oh, I don't want to be a late adopter, like it's not cool. But if you look at these ti titles that the Wall Street Journal uses, like fashionable, proud, dries, it says a lot about uh, how this community of users are gaining importance in today's uh, businesses. And the, 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 the solution uh, is to combine the two visions. Precisely, precisely. The solution is to look at both sides of the, the consumers, like to, to look at the ones who are very open to innovation, who are early adopters, and combine those visions with the ones who are the late adopters, because you don't want to have either one or the other, you want to have both. So uh, our vision for uh, companies, our recommendation is always not to ignore this very important sector of users. And now you have a, a, a very s new role, you are an ambassador. Can you explain a little bit about that? What a surprise. I'm very proud, actually, to be uh, an ambassador. I think um, perhaps this honor was based on the involvement that I had up to now, but I, I believe it also brings a lot of responsibility from now on, especially with the VCW France um, getting started. So I believe it means a lot of more collaborations, a lot of more um, Involvement both on research, uh, education side, both sides, and perhaps consulting also. These are the various um, aspects that we are thinking on. Uh, so I think this is a very exciting uh, beginning. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.